In this video, we'll be looking at Spirit and me. So I missed Monday's upload because I was away in Paynton, uh, down in Devon, uh, a wonderful centre, a wonderful church. Um, and uh, I, I held a, a, like a seminar over the weekend. I did a, uh, a workshop, uh, a demonstration, then another two demonstrations, then a day full of readings, then another demonstration. And I made my way back. Um, I got home yesterday uh, and now I'm uploading this video. And the, the crazy thing about it was, was the way that I was coming across or the, the way my relationship has, uh, has been developed with the spirit world uh, seems to be like it's different. People mention it to me, like you're, you work so differently, uh, you talk so differently, you're, the way you interpret it is just so different. Um, and that, that's why I'm doing this video. I mean, every single one of us should be different. There is not one scenario where we should all be looking the same or the way that we present or the way that we interpret the information from the spirit world. Not one of us should be the same because every single one of us are unique and we are individual. So it, it come up time and time again in the, in the last number of weeks. It's I run a post on, on Facebook and on Instagram with a, with a picture of a, of a forest. Uh, and every single one of us should interpret that slightly differently. Now, okay, we may go, um, uh, uh, that makes me feel at peace, or that makes me feel nervous, uh, and that will be like someone else. But when you actually go into why does that make you feel nervous, what is it that you're trying to express there, what is it that you're trying to say makes it, makes it peaceful there, Every single one of them will be different at that point. And that was the purpose. That was trying to show you that through expression, through dialing it in, through really trying to explain that the range of emotions and senses that you go through will be completely different across the board, no matter where you're training, no matter who you are. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get you to understand the reference base, the database, the way that you link with the spirit world, uh, and the way that you interpret that link. Now, my philosophy is that you are always there, you are always connected, you are, it's just a, a, a breath and, and a change of focus on the mind and, and you will become aware of the spirit world. This, this idea seems almost uh, alien to a lot of people. Now, if the teaching is we have to sit, we have to meditate, we have to connect, we have to, open up, we have to ground, we have to root ourselves off, then all of these rituals, that's 30 minutes. That's 30 minutes before you've even started uh, 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 going to uh, trying to do a, a communication of some sort. I move my mind, and as I move my mind, I'm already there, I'm already connected. Uh, and now I need to express in the best way possible. That expression is what is going to be key, because no one else can see or understand that connection that I have made with the spirit world. Now, of course, this doesn't just happen the moment you wake up and, uh, and here we go, now I'm amazing at what I do. This takes a lot of work. We need to uh, uh, work extremely hard in learning to express. If you're, if you're someone that's very shy and you're someone that has no self-worth and you, 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 you're not expressing um, uh, feelings and emotions during your earthly life through your everyday, maybe a relationship or you're not happy at work or, or whatever it is and you're not expressing, you're actually suppressing, then this this will happen in your mediumship. I can't, I, I can't find another way to say it. The two have to marry up. The two have to be here. So your earthly and your spiritual life are walking hand in hand. You can't claim to be spiritual and, and, and then, then not be spiritual. You can't do that. You can't, you can't be very expressive in mediumship and yet be extremely sh shy in the, in the physical. It doesn't work that way. We need this as natural as possible. We need the expression to flow. We need the energy to move very, very freely. And to do this, you are that instrument. That's what that means. You're that instrument to do that. 
Now, if the instrument's got a problem, you know, like, let's take my phone, for example, and, and I want to listen to music, then I have to go to the music app. It's something I download or I go through my iTunes and then I play the music. The instrument is capable of doing that. If I'm trying to express something that's very touching, very um, nervy for the instrument because of their own story, then that is exactly how that's going to come across in the spiritual, in the link, in the expression of the spirit world, because the instrument has the issue. This is why it is so, so important with the work on self, with looking at why do I react, how do I react, why do I think that, why do I do that? And in this self-reflection, you can then see where the problems are gonna come up. You can then move your development in an area that you find beneficial to you. So if talking to strangers is a problem, then that's the first thing that I will take you to do. I will go and make you look at that. Let's talk to some strangers. Let's, let's see how I handle it and how you want to handle it. Over this weekend, what I tried to do was give them a uh, a mask, a, a an outfit, you know, a cape or whatever it is, to give them that permission to be the vision that they see themselves. I mean, every single one of us has done this. We, we wish we could have said that at that time, or I wish my mind was quick enough and I could have reacted in that way and I could have done this. Mediumship is a development where you can be. You, uh, the, the people of Paynton in, in this example didn't know who I was. I'm, I'm some guy from Harlow, uh, uh, that's doing mediumship for the weekend. Now, if I'd have gone in real edgy, now inside I'm feeling a little bit, ooh, uh, I'm nervous, this has got a big name and there's some there's some people out looking uh, uh, at my work, what am I gonna do? The nerves can be there, that's absolutely fine. But I don't need to show it externally. I don't need to let them see that. And so I, I can wear a mask of confidence, you know. I talk to strangers every day. And I love the spirit world that I work with. And I love expressing to the, the best that my self, my instrument can do. And through that expression, I can be who I want to be. Because they don't know uh, a backstory. They don't know that I'm nervous. They don't know that I'm scared. Because the, the projection I give is one of confidence, one where I've checked uh, uh, all my markers, I've developed myself. And in turn, the audience will, will change their behavior, they may listen, they may uh, be, be less awkward because this guy knows what he's doing. And so that will change the energy of the room immediately. Speaking of the energy of the room, I will have to do a, a, a video on that as someone has commented I've seen uh, just before I started recording this. So that will more than likely be that one of the next uploads. It will be there at some point where our workstation uh, is down to us. Can it affect the room? Absolutely. Can we change it? Absolutely. Uh, and so we'll look at that in the, in the upcoming videos. But to round this one up, it's, it's all about you it's all about the way you want to express it if you see it then you say it and if you say it and you express it in the right way this is going to help you uh, or, or your development much much easier what i tried to explain to a few people is that there are people of the world that don't like the term or the idea of angels there are people that don't like bi biblical characters and that sort of stuff and that's absolutely fine but through the, the reference basing of the way that we do it, we don't express that part of it. We can hold that back. You know, I'm aware of a very religious character or um, maybe uh, uh, they've taken you on a journey uh, to help you work with your emotions. We don't need to know the journey you took to find those emotions. That's the spirit world and the relationship with you. It could be Elvis. It doesn't matter who took you to go and find those emotions within your yourself upon that journey that they've taken you on we don't need to hear it all you need to express there is I went on a journey with the spirit world and I found my emotions to then give the label of Jesus took me or Elvis took me is that moment that people will go ain't listening to this this is a load of rubbish uh, and because it's what your mind needed it's what your instrument needed so bear it in mind no experience will be shared between you and someone else, because you are unique. 
and that uniqueness is just to help you discover you and express you in the, first, uh, the best possible way. So be mindful of that. So um, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you, uh, if you liked it. Please engage in it, comment on it. And as I move over here, YouTube are gonna suggest another couple of videos there for you. So if, if you click on one of those, uh, and I'll see you all on the next upload.